to analyze just how difficult it is to make contact with a fast pitch softball. Struck her out. We brought in two time USA Softball National Collegiate Player of the Year, Danielle Laurie. Here we go. Danielle's shoulder acts as a fulcrum and her arm a 28-inch lever. She windmills her arm at an angular velocity of almost 1,900 degrees per second. And the ball rockets out of her hand at speeds approaching 70 miles an hour. How does that compare to facing Major League Baseball pitching? Gravity dictates that baseballs thrown from a mound must follow a downward trajectory. In baseball, there is no such thing as a rising fastball. And a batter can adjust to pitches by dropping his hands to adjust to the downward trajectory. But softball pitchers don't stand on mounds, and a low release point can result in pitches with an upward trajectory. This means a batter has to fight gravity to adjust to the higher trajectories. A 90 mile per hour fastball, released on average 55 feet from home, reaches the plate in roughly 44 hundredths of a second. But a 70 mile per hour softball is typically released closer to 37 feet from the plate and can reach the batter in only 35 hundredths of a second. That means a softball batter has about 20% less time to make contact than a major leaguer. How confident are you that you can strike out anyone? Pretty confident, especially against you, I'm pretty confident. So. <laughs> against me? I'm serious, I'm not just saying that though. <laughs> There's no shame in failing to get a hit off a softball pitcher like Danielle. After all, as a senior at Washington, she threw four no-hitters, and three of those were perfect games. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.